Do I got a show feed on the stream? Is that going to be like a thing? Oh god, I, see here's the dark timeline. Mm. And welcome back to another Linux Gamecast Weekly. The show that covers the latest Linux gaming news, reviews, how-tos, and most importantly, whatever the hell else we come up with. I'm Old Man Vin here at LGC Actual. I'll be switching the bits, piloting the SS Nightmare Train. OMG, it is on fire in beautiful downtown Athens, Georgia. Joined every week by Jordan Swing, a man who is said to uh, smell like streetlights. And, of course, across the pond, one Pedro Mateus, who's never seen a train he wanted to get in. I'm just a small no. town girl no, living no. in a lonely world. <laughs> That's what somebody who smells of streetlights would say. Street Together lights with you, Shed Realm Dynamic, helping us form cocaine, Voltron, what's going on, what's new wrapping up a little bit of pre-show come check us out live if you get a chance over on twitch.tv forward slash linux gamecast 8 30 on saturdays watch it after the fact whatever you want to get into yeah we're trying a new jetsy server tonight i set one up playing around um we're trying that advanced that new fangled just came out last minute vp9 which has been out for a long time but i wanted to get that running with uh jitsi then we're talking about maybe doing av1 who knows it hasn't caught on fire yet but it's running on that elite desk why? Because I'm a huge fan of Overkill. And running <laughs> a Jitsi server with just two people on it, on 16 gigs of RAM, on a quad-core uh, 8 thread 2400G, is my kind of thing. And if you want to find out more about that, uh, that video is up for patrons right now. It's been up for a couple of days. Everything I know about it, I got pretty much the entire write-up done. Great value. I'll make sure there's uh, links from the guy I bought mine from because it was a legitimate company. It came packaged well and everything was good to go. And what you need to look out for if you're in the market for a tiny little hell box. Um, that's just silly overkill for what it is. How about you, uh, Thysmic Lampman? Thysmic Lampman. That's, uh, that's, yes. that's a good one. <laughs> now, uh, not, much, not much is happening. I watched the... Um, I'm slowly rationing out the TV from that's coming out this year because of the writer's strike. I watched that last episode of Star Trek Discovery, and that was, oh, was a that very like pretty, the last last one. The the last last one. Did uh, Q show up? No, oh. not like not like the last time. Yeah. Um. It was. It was. You know. It was. It was a very. It was a very predictable ending. Okay. And did they at least yeah. touch on like the progenitors of everything? They do. And all right. Oh boy, I have I have some some pits to picks to nits to pick. All right. Um, su suffi suffice to say though that like, you know you know it's been it's been a complicated show. It's never been bad, but mm -hmm. it's I I always felt that it never quite lived up to its potential of what it could be. I definitly got the feel that they didn't know. They're like, we're we gonna make an action show. Are we gonna do like track track or they did yeah. Hmm. Yeah, and I I I, th I think like just overall like they had a lot of the same like um sort of story arc problems that they never could figure out. But that was like sort of Star Trek wide. Like Picard had a lot of the same sort of story beat issues. They made Picard run. They made that poor old man run, just like they made poor Chewbacca run in that one Star Wars movie. Mm. It's like, dude, like Peter C Peter Pete Mayhew, not Peter Cushing. Peter Cushing is dead. Him and his fuzzy slippers. Uh, Peter, Peter, well, Peter may he's dead tuna, but like before, all dead, he, before he died, before he died, <laughs> all right. he had no kneecaps and they made that poor man run. And Dude. my heart broke in that fucking movie. I saw him and I'm just like, oh, oh don't, don't do it. Don't do it. Pedro. Oh, do you get anything else? Oh, this is good. That reminds me of my, my wife was telling me a story about when she saw Judas Priest. I think I mentioned that on the podcast. Right. Where he just, he he couldn't get off, he, yeah, he couldn't get off the bike. It's like, oh, the, 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 the poor old man. It does hurt. Uh, I heard a tale that you dared to try out the open source NVIDIA drivers and survived. I did. <laughs> Nothing blew up. Well, uh, the, as it turns out- I don't out, know. I saw some of the um, screenshots that you were posting in Discord. Yeah. Uh, as, if you try to uh, run, um, what's it called? Furmark. I just call it Fuzzy Donuts. <laughs> Everyone knows what it is. You can just call it the Fuzzy yeah. Donut. Uh, d trying to run Farmark and um, running it on the Intel uh, card, uh, the laptop, running it on the Intel integrated graphics, it was fine. Running it on the NVIDIA NVK open source driver uh, with Zinc for the GL side, it was fine. Running it in Vulkan and uh, if I was not plugged in, just running on battery, it the laptop would just shut, shut off. It's like, <laughs> yep. But if I plug it into power, because it does come yeah, with these modern safety <laughs> features are no fun. Back in the day, shit would catch on fire, man. Yeah, that's, that's the, why uh, you need the HDMI to hose adapter, right? 
240 watt power adapter that the laptop co uh, comes with, if you have that plugged in, works just fine. So yeah, no, uh, the uh, since we talked about it last week, the NVK is now available on um, Mesa, uh, 24.1 or 24.2. So if you have that going up and running, you can play around and it just works out of the box, even on Optimus laptops. That's pretty good. Uh, it's genuinely pretty good. <laughs> Nice. What are people going to complain about, though? I mean, that, that was my thing with stupid NVIDIA with closed source drivers and rah. Now, now oh, we can uh, move on to complaining about Intel cards. Well, <laughs> yeah. Hey, you Where's leave Intel out of this. One of these days they're going to make a GPU and you're going to be eating those words. Yeah, I'll, I'll believe it when I see it. <laughs> Battle Mage. Come on, man. Come on. They, they, listen, they told me that shit before, and they lied to me, so... Uh, you know, I posted that thing. I, I thought I, I would actually get Pedro to bite into that a little bit, man. Um, the whole coffee lake thing, because we talked about it on the show, you know, like seven or eight years ago, when they did the socket change for mm -hmm. that one fucking pin. And they're like, well, we had to do it, man. Like, there was no way around this shit. Like, we clearly had to release, you know, it's a new socket, new motherboard. This is peak fucking Intel. This is like a year before Ryzen. And somebody's like, yeah, yeah, just do a little firmware flash and tape that off right quick. Look, works just fine. Yeah, like, I, like literal, <laughs> literal tape. It was, yeah. it was great. Yeah. Captain tape and a BIOS upgrade to remove the limitation. <laughs> and yes, <laughs> we were talking uh, like announced because like it, and naturally everybody blew back on Intel about this during that release. And Intel had to come out and like, no, guys, this is we had to do that. We did. We had no choice. Mm hmm. Was it was this in and around when they were trying to do the BGA thing, or is this like a couple of years before? I, no, this was uh, the transition from uh, the seven uh, seven thousand series to the eight thousand series. So mm. Cabby Lake to Coffee Lake, Coffee Lake. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, I've lost track of all the model numbers. Uh, what, what was the year? I don't uh, know. <laughs> let's see, Intel seven thousand <laughs> or eight thousand series. What, what are we on, like 14,000 or something? Hi, welcome back to the part where I have to cut. <laughs> 2018, yeah. 2018. <laughs> All right, yeah, I, I, I just don't know anymore with Intel, right? Like, yeah. I've never been able to really keep track of Intel. Like, I, I was good for, like, Pentium 1, maybe Pentium 2, Pentium 3, Pentium 4. Like, I, I was rolling with that. Now it's, like, i11, 600KS. So I'm like, whatever. Not to say Intel is, uh, well, AMD's kind of, not that crazy. AMD is going to get confusing, but like the AM4s that they're going to be talking about on copy, they're really, we're getting more new AM4 CPUs. They're going to be like the 5100. They're going to be GPU names. Well, we, we already have that with the 7000 series CPUs and the 7000 <laughs> series GPUs. What kind of genius <laughs> fucking marketing guy came up with that? I'll tell you, our horse. Oh, of course. You know, our horse has graduated with all the MBAs, so you know he's... The best brain. It's the Steam. So Big Brother is watching you? Always. Uh, Deadlock. Wait. Is no. Deadlock? No, Deadlock's not first. Why are we on Deadlock? I don't know. What. We're, we're, I don't know. That's the second one. <laughs> uh, fine. Obey me next time, browser. Yeah, Pavel, you know him. Um, X Paul. He got a little post. He put it up on the, on the X. Steam is working on clip recording. It supports background recording, includes timeline markers, and supports games for various events. And clips can be shared similar to screenshots via the Steam community. And there's a nice little picture of a clip being clipped. And, uh, you know, I'm just like trying to, like, do we really want to, like, A, I guess you do it with, like, you know, storing in memory like OBS does. But do we, the extra bits needed for that, like, in, in, our, in our fucking game client? Like, well, it would, it would be in the, the well, overlay mostly, but like it, yeah. it already has that in place because Steam broadcast as much as we don't use it, it is a thing, and uh, the in-home streaming does already do that, and the you know latent as it may be remote play together already does that streaming, so it's all there. Might as well use it. Yeah. I mean, Gabe needs to watch you play all your weird hentai games that you didn't let your other <laughs> friends know because you can mark them as private purchases now, but Gabe knows. Gabe always knew. How useful is it going to be, though? I mean, it's going to be like tied into Steam. You can share it and no one's ever going to watch it. I mean, I mean, like maybe, maybe if they have like an export to YouTube or something, maybe where or uh, export to Twitch. I could see, see Tw Twitch is where you go to like see clips and stuff like that or TikTok and weird places like me. Oh, God. Um, 
YouTube shorts generator. YouTube shorts don't <laughs> exist. YouTube, quit showing them to me. We're trying. God, man, <laughs> they they've like whoever the, the people in charge of Google at the time trying to force G plus down people's throats would blush if they saw yeah. how hard YouTube is still pushing shorts. Man, like they're not going to let that one go away. Um, yeah, this is just a reminder that yeah, there there's a whole video side of like Valve. Let us know in the comments if you use that because like maybe once or twice a year I'm reminded that people stream their games on Steam. Like there's a page. You go to it, you click on it, and people are streaming. You're like, that'd be dope. Hey, maybe I want to stream to uh, Steam. And they're like, yeah, not not the way that you would stream to literally every other streaming service in the history of ever. No, no, you, you got to do it like through this. For I understand why they do it because they don't want to have to get into They want to make sure if you're just forced to stream the game and you can't really add anything to it, they don't have to worry about you, you know, putting on your sh Jordan, putting on his short shorts and green screening, <laughs> um, Baldur's gate on those big old sizes. No, I, I gotta listen. If, if I'm going to, if I'm going to stream a big booty game, it's uh -huh. going to be a big booty game. So metal gear solid Day five, oh. stare right at snakes ass. Cause he's bootylicious. Okay. So, so, his solid snake. Cause it's solid glutes. All right. Fair enough. Um, <laughs> Yeah, they but would be Katana nice. Brings up a good point. What? Uh, PlayStation has clips for achievements. Now Steam could do the same. That would actually get a lot of people using it because there are I don't, I, the I, achievement I don't, I don't need, hunters. Achievos. I don't need people seeing the fucking shameful shit I do to get an achievement. <laughs> I don't. I'm sorry. Like, I mean, I'm sure I, you could make it private. <laughs> yeah, that's the whole thing, dude. Like, if you got to do it yourself, because like, yeah, I think about how many times of like, you know, just I think a lot of our brains work differently from most people's especially in games because we're trying to reverse engineer a problem like because mm -hmm. we understand what a vision cone is right mm -hmm. we, we're like all right I, we're we're up against whoever set up the ai we're not up against to in place character that we're role playing against and we're like all right how do we uh, get up against this so some of that's fun to record now we talked about that not death clock not dead block i, I want to talk about death clock yes that no. clock we got to talk about <laughs> dead lock. It looks like it's real ads. It does. There's a Steam DB page and everything, uh, which we have linked to in our uh, show notes. If you want to check those out on linuxgamecast.com, it's linked in the YouTube video and all that other stuff. Yeah. So uh, if you if you click on it, there's like 1,200 people in game. It was like 396 or 200 some odd earlier in the week. I guess they're like active playtesters. But I think I don't. But we're and we see some activity in the depots. Uh, so. What do you think? Are these are these deliberate? Is Valve just trying to like drum up some interest by seeing like, hey, let's uh let's let some of this stuff slip and see see where people bite? Uh, cause it seems it seems very convenient that there was that leak, and then all of a sudden people are talking about the Steam Depot and blah blah blah. It I I, I don't know. There there seems to me to be at least be like some level of intentionality behind it, but I could be wrong. Dude, playtime is at uh one UTC. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that's when the uh, bat signal goes out to everybody who gets a copy of this to play around with. And they're updating the shit out of it. Look at the fucking depots. They're getting updated multiple times per day, man. This is not like a... So this is under active development. Yeah, I, I, looked at, I looked at the leaked footage and like, it actually looks pretty decent. I like the character design. Uh, I, li I like some of like the, the powers that they have. And mm -hmm. like, it, it could be a decent game. Like, uh, that's where I'll like kind of disagree with you a little bit. Um, no, it might be cause we haven't played it. You know, this is just yeah. like looking at that footage. Mm -hmm. I'm not, it's not even that I'm like, is valve done innovating here? Cause th this is just, we, this game exists, right? Pedro, Mateus. Uh, it, several of this game exist. Uh, it's called overwatch two, which is on steam paladins, which is on steam. Uh, the Marvel, um, Marvel rivals. rivals. Yeah, <laughs> which is also why, on Steam. Why, why does Hulk have no ass? <laughs> no Hulk ass. Yeah, that seems like something they could have easily fixed. Uh, but yeah, it is. I, I, I'm looking at the uh, the depots page, and ooh, there's a Linux depot. Look at you know how sad it is uh, not uh, having anything in it currently. So yeah, it is. And you were showing the uh, like the peak players graph earlier. At One a.m. UTC is. Uh, about eight. So PM. this was filed by uh, David, their their um, trademark. Uh, so that's the attorney. I, I want to like hit that cup and like, hey man, can I get an invite? <laughs> <laughs> but look at all these other deadlock trademarks. Um, 
Century Manufacturing, Bowtech. Yeah, one's a brewing company. I'm like, all right. Yeah, so I guess these these are all like the non gaming related ones. I would think that like maybe Valve got inspiration for this title from all their legal drama and all of the jury deadlock that they encounter. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I don't know. Like when we think about like Half Life, Half Life was did innovated on the genre, and you know Portal was like, what the fuck is this on the genre? Left for Dead too did some fun, you know, asymmetrical, you know, um, assholes versus your other friends who are also assholes. Um, it's <laughs> good times and this you know we've seen uh what was the card game artifacts artifact artifact that was just that didn't bring anything new to the table like here's another card game so, you know we moved the cups well, around a little bit they brought in richard garfield so they thought that if we bring in the yeah, magic the gathering we'll just, guy yeah yeah well we're gonna, we're gonna make it you're gonna yeah. show up with a dump truck full of money and you dump it you, you gotta provide oversight or you that you end up with artifact uh that's the thing as i've played uh, paladins whenever they fuck up their anti-cheat and they actually allow Linux people on. That's when I played Paladins and I enjoyed the game. I enjoyed it very, very much and I'm going to try Deadlock if it's free to play. I'm probably going to try it. But yeah, it is uh, I was uh, that little video that showed with one of the characters killing the other. The time to kill on that was a little long <laughs> And I don't like games that you have to shoot characters three, four, or five times in the head before they drop. <laughs> what, if, what if it's a game where people's weak points are their butts and you have to shoot them in the butt cheeks? Yep. <laughs> well, then I've been playing games wrong all what my What if life. all the cosmetics are for your butthole? <laughs> it's, it, it's, it's that butthole paint, just like I we were talking about the free pre super shows. And I don't know, like, I, I, you know, there are Valve games like Team Fortress 2 I'm not interested in, CSGO, fuck yourself, well, not interested in. Um, well, like, and th there, there's a bunch of them, too, like Day of Defeat, uh, Tia, Team Fortress, and It's Elk, like, uh, like you mentioned. Uh, I, I, will, I will always hold Ricochet up as the pinnacle of game design, because that is, that is a perfect game, and I will physically fight anyone who says otherwise. All right. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Let's go ahead and move into some real new games, and this one, unfortunately, is doomed to fail. Why? Because... What the fuck are you doing with your name there, bro? Me fumado. I'm serious. This is serious. Like, oh, have you played... Fuck, what was that thing called again? Me fumado? <laughs> Shit. All right, let me Google it. Sa uh, pixel action. Fuck, there's a lot of these. You need to change your name. <laughs> Free advice. Old Bit Studios. From your friendly neighborhood old man, Vin. Yeah. Me fumando, right? Let's take me, a look. Me, me, me fumado. Sure. Me fumado. <laughs> it's an action RPG set in a post-apocalyptic immersive open world inspired by just Japan all by itself. Oh man, it's got my attention because it is pretty man. Uh, and I have a hard time really placing this one because it's got SNES level graphics, but it's got a Mega Drive color palette. <laughs> you know, you got like 52 shades of like darkish. And on top of that, it like all the animation cycles and stuff of like that are complex enough to like that would have been something that you would have seen only on a neo geo back in the day uh big step up from the first title their opening title from the studio just called gun ridge but damn it's pretty it is oh, yeah. uh, that, that animation is slick as hell holy it man. looks 100 percent legit like this is this is the uh, nostalgia vision translator done look you get to fight Sheila. and I thought, I thought that was lolf <laughs> <laughs> It, I mean, that shit looked gross, from Dark Souls. Man. Like, uh, I'm, I'm very curious about this. Very, very curious. Uh, Pretty's only one third of the battle, though. Because I'm watching this, I'm like, please don't control like ass. Please don't control like ass. Because I've, we've been bitten so many times in the past. Um, with really beautiful fucking games that just absolute dog shit controls. This is coming soon. Like, there's not really a date on this. Uh, what I did like. Watch out, Windows users. Starting January on the 1st of the 2024s, um, Steam Cloud will only support Windows 10. You already know that. Why are you telling people that, Brad? <laughs> it's too so, late for them. They can't hear you anymore. They're on Windows 10. They're gone. I, I think that might be an automatic thing if you only put Windows 7 and above as a requirement. The game but, contains... So, it's, it's very gory, by the way. So, yeah, you probably... Oh, yeah. yeah, the age is three and up, though. You know? Yeah, the, I, I mean, it's some, it's like Mortal Kombat level gore. Let's be real. That's yeah. It's... The example that the, the because it looks very good, and the closest, most recent example of something that looks like this is Blasphemous. That the, this is just 
blasphemous, but in Japan instead of Spain. Uh, J- so, J- Japanfamous. Uh, Japanfamous, yes. <laughs> I, well, so my, my, I guess my, my last question for this is, where, where do you think it will fall over under on like, do you think it'll be bigger than 100 megabytes or smaller than 100 megabytes? Uh, <laughs> significantly bigger. <laughs> probably clock it in at the uh, magic 1.12 gigs. Mm, yeah, maybe. Maybe. But considering it needs 2 gigs of RAM, so even if it expands a little bit, if it loads everything into RAM, eh, yeah, 1 gig, 800 megs. <laughs> Doesn't that piss you off like when you're playing a hipster pixel game and you hit a fucking load screen and you're like, get fucked. <laughs> get so fucked. Um, well, yeah, you, what, what, what are you loading off the fucking shitty memory that's on the plastic cartridge that they paid a penny for? In Japan I or mean, whatever? you know, I, and I'm talking like brutally hipster pixel, and you're like, the illusion's gone when I see a loading screen and I have to wait more than a femtosecond. I'm like, hmm. <laughs> Moving on to something that uh, Pedro and I both played. We were very impressed uh, just because of like what it was made with. <laughs> On a technical level, uh, you say, yeah, no, you've played a lot of games with GZ Doom, right? All the Doom mods and Doom, Doom 2, whatever. How about Solaco? Yeah. <laughs> it's out in early access. No, nah, I don't like that shit. It tastes like soap. <laughs> and uh, yes, no, the uh, pink-blooded um, sci-fi shooter that made all the rounds a couple of years ago. And yes, I very much enjoyed that demo <laughs> very, very much. Uh, and yeah, it's the first, uh, I think it's only the first chapter that they have currently available, which is 25 levels and, uh, 11 weapons and like all the enemies and all that. It seriously, it looks amazing. It seems to play amazing. I'm going to wait until the, uh, game is actually done. What engine is this done on? GZ Doom. GZ Doom, which is a modification of Doom engine. It, it, it is very much still based on the original Doom sauce. Yes. Space Bro. <laughs> Dude, I remember when, I, I think this was, uh, what, what, what are the little demo uh, days where we downloaded this and played it? Um, the, the, the Demo Fest, yeah. 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 <laughs> and we got it, and I was amazed by like how good it looked and its ability to uh, drop into the <laughs> high teens and low 20s with a 3060 at 1080p and some parts. I was like, that's impressive considering the image. Uh, engine. Yeah, the engine is very much a limitation at some points because, yeah, the Doom engine was never made to have particle effects. It was never made to have leaning, physics. lighting. It the, ne- any, never any made to shit. have real time lighting. <laughs> it's currently so, early access. It's going to run you uh, twenty four ninety nine. So you're going to pay for that uh, extra pixel. I mean, a lot of works went into this, and I mean, it looks really, really good. It does. And uh, seriously, when you think about it's GZ Doom, is is the Doom engine. Huh? What do you do? <laughs> I mean, well, did you ever think you would need like an additional note on the Linux build for your Doom Engine game? SSD, highly recommended, bro. Yeah, that, yeah. that's fair. <laughs> what, 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 if, what if you showed that to Carmack? Would he just like have a seizure? Would he start foaming at the mouth and be like, what have you done to my beautiful baby? No, he would probably those, all those, crack uh, He'd take that as a no. personal challenge. He's like, bullshit. <laughs> Give me a tape drive. Let's let's. <laughs> <laughs> hold on, hold on. Let me optimize this shit. Yeah, this like, too bad. I, I can make this shit run off a fucking DVD. Watch me. 5400 RPM HDD. Let's go. <laughs> Watching, uh, yeah, I remember listening to a talk about, uh, what was it? I think Rage or whatever. And he was talking about unpacking fucking triangles from the PlayStation 2 or some shit like that. And he's like, yeah, I got this. <laughs> yeah. Speaking of the number two, game updates. Yes. Uh, game updates. So this is one that we've been keeping an eye on. One day it will drop below 25 bucks. But It Takes Two uh, has an update on Steam. No longer requires the EA launcher. They have removed it entirely. Uh, however, this does come with some consequences. Uh, your save file, uh, if it was hosted on the EA servers, is gone forever. Sucks to be you. Uh, if you did complete the game, though, they do provide you a fully completed save file that you can import uh, so that you can access the chapter select because that's what that all does. Um, but you still need to link your EA and Steam account if you want to play online. Um, that, that is still a requirement, but you can do everything through the overlay. Uh, if you are still on the EA client and you send someone on steam an invite, it will show up through the overlay, but you need, to, but you yourself need to be logged into EA for that to happen. And, uh, if you're playing, uh, with remote play or just local co-op, then you don't need shit at all. It just launches right out of steam, which is, which is nice, which is a nice thing to have. Uh, yeah. So, uh, 
once they get removing removing launchers always a good thing i don't think i don't think anyone is gonna like complain about oh no you removed this external third-party launcher from this game how dare you <laughs> you gotta love it though man because this probably has to be the direct result of penny pinching greed like corporate greed of like are we leaving any money on the table yes the steam deck two percent pro like what do we do how do we get the money but do we got a launcher how do we get the money tear it out put it on there get the money <laughs> I mean, EA cares about Linux, guys. Um, and uh, he, that's why they got rid of the Terabad uh, launcher, because they didn't want to hurt your fees, Right, Pedro? <laughs> that's the thing. Baby steps. Uh, from a massive behemoth that is EA, baby steps. Uh, but yeah, no, it, they're still, unfortunately, like Jordan mentioned, they're still keeping the... Um, PSN like requirement that Sony's been getting in trouble and catching flack for recently, but baby steps anyway, and I will applaud those baby steps, even if I'm being snarky about it, literally everything else. But it's good. That's a Pedro, legitimately good thing. What's your hot take on the uh, new uh, one of the new Sony CEOs? He's like, check this out. Let me tell you why we're doing PC games. You're gonna buy. <laughs> you're gonna buy the first game on PC, and it's gonna be so awesome. That you're going to buy, buy, you're going to buy the sequel on the PS5. You're you're going to buy a PS5 uh -huh. yeah. so that you can play the sequel yep. on the. That's how that works, according yeah. to uh, CEO <laughs> Sony guy. <laughs> I mean, and I, I, weirdly I, enough, uh, the 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 it seems that more people are playing the games on Steam now that they're available than um, you know, are continuing to play those games on the PS5. Jordan, how much of a crossover do you think there is between like how many people do you know that have a PS5 and a legitimate gaming rig? Uh, I know a couple, and that's because they make a lot of poor financial decisions okay. uh, and don't have a lot of <laughs> pressure in regards to paying rent or groceries or stuff like that. I would just like to know where can I apply for the job that lets me smoke crack all day and just say mm -hmm. random shit and then get paid a million dollars? Because I, I would very much like to apply for that job. Well, uh, see, you can say stuff like this when your competition is Microsoft. I guess. I guess. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> That's because Microsoft. Well, Microsoft's response would be, "Let's buy another studio." Microsoft's supposed to be like, that can we, "Hold on, doing. but can we buy Sony?" <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Let, let's. What was the the rumor? Sixteen billion dollars to buy Valve. Yeah. Yeah. Because Valve doesn't make that in a year. Nope. <laughs> There's just some little. Yeah, it's just a PC gaming man. Whatever. Yeah. Dude, I don't know. Um, you know, good. You know, uh, d don't pretend EA fucking cares about anybody. Don't don't ascribe emotions and feeling to a soulless corporation. But they did a thing to get more money out of people, and we we get to benefit from it. Yay! More of that. Take more of our money, EA, with your terabyte mm -hmm. launcher, which is no longer there. Yeah, no, seriously, the, that launcher was needed to go for a long time. So, now it's more you know, practical. So when Jordan and I do our uh, fabled <laughs> playthrough, he's got. To use this feat with a Steam Deck. All right. Do I got a show feat on the stream? Is that going to be like a thing? Oh, God. I, See, here's the dark timeline. Mm. Do you have any fucking viewers we'll get? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, so the answer is yes. Yes. Okay. I, I, it, it's going to be the split. On. All right. It's going to be the three way that we're going to get the people that are going to be like, uh, 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 that's funny. They're doing it. For, then, you, then you're going to get the people for like weird. What are they doing? Then you're going to get the feat people. No, no. Yes. Th then you're going to get the people who show up on Saturday and go like, Where's the feet? Where the feet? Where the feet? I wanted to see more feet. You need to fucking label, label your streams right. All right. If you're doing a no feet stream, it needs to say no. That, that, see, that's why you got to stream on kick so that you can do the feet streams on kick. All right. I want somebody to send in a uh, p p one of those little suggestions on Twitch. You know, they, they got like the feedback form for like topics and things like this. Can we get a foot category? Yeah, feet. Not, not, no, 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 not, 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 not feet. Foot. Just the one foot. Just you one can foot. only show. If you show more than one foot, right. you're banned. Gone. Only, only one foot at a time. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so two feet is porn, one foot is uh, erotic. It's skirting it. It's skirting yeah. it. We're just <laughs> one, 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 for Twitch. One, one foot is art, two feet are porn. We're, 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 we're keeping it Disney level spicy here. All right. Uh, so so not, not, is all not Tarantino around. level okay. spicy. <laughs> game updates. Uh, up next. It's over. It's Yay. a game we actually threw uh, chairs at. A while uh, a long long time ago wildermyth it's uh yeah it's done the developers say well 
The developer had a very meandering announcement to say that they're done working on the game. Uh, it's a, a farewell. Uh, so it's like, okay, we, we're we not doing active development anymore. There's still going to be the console versions probably still going to happen. Uh, more news at 11. We'll see. Uh, the, uh, the, the, the important bit is the feels, which is uh, what they end with, which is to say, it's like, yeah, we put in especially the person who was writing the um the articles saying yeah no i've been working for uh, on this game for about 11 years so this is quite the uh, load off my shoulders as it were uh so yeah no they're moving on to uh, greener pastures and newer games they already have another game out uh, omen road and they're going to be releasing more games and they want to have more availability to work on those which is fair enough could have just said that no, I mean, oh, yeah, I, I, dude, you better be fucking careful telling other people to be concise, mommy. <laughs> yeah, I've, see, I've, that's I've, the I've, thing. I've, if I'm I've, concise, I've then I get shot at I'm, I'm just saying, you, you, make sure you're well grounded. I don't want anything I, to hurt you, <laughs> Pedro. I, I have never seen you output anything that I would describe as too concise. Sometimes he says yes or no. Yeah, that's sometimes the, I say exactly what I mean, and then so you're gonna elaborate on that. Do I have to? Very oh, no, doing no, a podcast, homie, you, so maybe. <laughs> so, yeah, so big old, big old <laughs> Wikipedia citation needed here. Um, <laughs> um, yeah, but uh, yeah, I mean, I, I I like the game. Um, I, I think it did like a like, I like it, the art it was style. Neat, it did well. Yeah. Like, it's got like fourteen thousand mm-hmm. positive yeah. reviews. They yeah, made some it, money it, off yeah. this, right? <laughs> it, it was it was a bit of a riff off like the if you if you remember Massive Chalice from the Double Fine mm-hmm. days, mm-hmm. Uh, where where I'm where like a Paper like, Mario art style. Yeah, yeah. Where, where like your your guys grow old and age and you have to like you know create new new heroes and like time goes on and there's like there's there's a thing things move forward and you there, it's a game that fails forward where like if you hit a game over screen it's not actually game over because next the mission world is, is still well, the same the, world. <laughs> the, the world is still there and now you're just playing your last character's kids which i thought was like a, yeah it's, it's a good way to like move things forward create some stakes still allow people to fail but not make it feel like your time is being wasted. Good times. Happy to see it. That's going to wrap up all of our steamy bits this week. And we're just going to move into the regular ordinary news. Cause it's, uh, it's, it's heavy, man. It's real. Dude, heavy. You know, this is about <laughs> a particular thing, but I, I think it's part of a uh, bigger conversation we need to just have, but I'm interested in everybody's feedback. This is, you know, Computex is going on. Uh, MSI is going to be releasing a 4090 Supram Fusion with Supram. an A. With an AI O cooler, now we've seen this before because MSI's got AIOs. You know, he's got the radiator. You know, you bolt it onto the top or the bottom. It's got some hoses. No, the, this is AIO in the sense that it's built into one single unit. It's all together. There, there's no hoses. There's no radiator. Well, there is hoses and there is radiators, but it's all built into the cart. And this thing is massive as you would imagine it being. And they're saying, hey, it's going to get like a 15% performance increase compared to, to boring old regular air cooling. Not much in the way of details other than this thing is as big as four and a half slots. <laughs> uh, yeah. Imagine a 4090 <laughs> with some extra 4090 attached to it because we're going to shove a fucking AIO in it. 4.5 uh, slots. No. Yeah. <laughs> this is what we got to think about because this, this is our future. How do we cool this shit? You know, we haven't seen the 50. We've already seen rumors about the 50 series NVIDIA shit and they're going to make you you remember that fucked up cooler that we saw rumors about mm-hmm. like a year and a half ago that you know where, where the uh gpu is not bolted to the side it's bolted to the bottom why because it's mm-hmm. this fucking wood <laughs> that's gonna happen i guarantee you because we're, we're, we're awfully close for like the slot design of engineers just having to do shit like this and say fuck it all right <laughs> we're just gonna stick it on there to put something under it, it might stay up <laughs> and we're already seeing jordan i saw you posted earlier this week in our super secret discord Re re like bone. Remember when reinforced PCI Express yeah. started showing up? Like, lol, oh, that's a weird market. You need that shit these days. Well, well, well. What the, the forty ninety already has the fucking kickstand that you need to stick under there, right. so that your 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 PCI slot doesn't sag off. I, I was, I was checking- like looking at a motherboard box where like I have this MSI military grade, but with reinforced. I'm like, Pfft. I remember seeing that when I bought it. <laughs> yeah. you know, this was ten years ago, and I'm like, for what? A card yeah, like big re- deal. Re- re- reinforced but like yeah i was i was joking in discord but like you know we, we need like the the xl pci the the magnum pci as it were yeah M- maybe some kind of like rail system that just slides in and like locks or some shit i don't know because like yeah with, with like the 
physical weight of the aluminum of the heat sinks and like the copper and like now you're throwing liquid in there which is heavy so like yeah you're you're, you're we, we we need to reinforce structural integrity captain I four sluts how. so that's gonna eat up um your buy one that's anywhere near that and it's gonna overhang the second, if you got to buy 16 sitting in there. So are, mm-hmm. are we going to start seeing the, the, the main PHCI slot move to the bottom of the board so that like the other way around. Can... <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so that so, so that so that you can actually make use of your other PCI holes. <laughs> now, the only way like it would make sense to go, go in the unhinged direction on this is if motherboard manufacturers could all get together and like go have a camp out and standardize on putting in a bracer by 16 slot. Not electrically connected. It's just there to keep shit from snapping apart. Oh, so so you you have the dual pins and then you yeah yeah it's it's like a regular card, but it's got like two lanes on it. You know one yeah yeah, but and 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 one is just like a solid piece of metal. This is the load bearing lane. Yeah, right. (laughs) Like you you got to fucking draw the line somewhere. And like the other solution, maybe the hipsters will bring back desktop PCs because you know all the all the problems go away when you take a tower and you go burp and you turn it like that. Yeah, or mm. you just include a uh, five cent bit of plastic that you put underneath the GP, <laughs> which is a lot of. Um, so, Pedro Mateus, you're heavier. telling me that you don't give a fuck long as you get something to hold it up. So big as you need, six slots. You're like, let's fucking go. I got my little <laughs> stick. We're gonna that's the thing. It. If if they were going to give you the stupid little stands like some of the currently existing models already yeah. do, then yeah. I think if they say that's good enough, <laughs> I think the best worst solution, I, I, the, it is the best worst, the worst best solution. I don't know. Monitors with integrated GPUs, because then you can stick all the fucking cooling in the monitor and then have the Thunderbolt connection that goes to your motherboard or whatever. And that's how you handle your display. OK, you get something that's like 4.5 slots wide. Because, why? Because they wanted to squeeze extra performance of the 4090, which is already on the fucking edge all these years later. Like NVIDIA was like, that was a YOLO card. Like the 4090 has been reigning supreme for what? Your three years now? Like nothing's yeah. touched it. Nothing. Yeah. Nothing. Who and change. <laughs> you want to make that just a little bit faster? Well, instead of going to that laughable, comical five slot, six slot, Cooling solution, you got to put a fucking AIO in it. It's still four and a half slots. Where do we draw the line? Where, where does it get to the point? Because I, I get two problems with this. One, water cooling terrifies me. Why? Because I've done a lot of water cooling in my days. I got water cooled shit right now. Bugs the fuck out of me. Um, <laughs> necessary evil. But much like in Jackbox, one of the things with Jackbox that I didn't like, I had a AIO sitting up top, keeping it cool, very quiet. I had a sound card at the bottom, still in the bottom, that cost four of the computers. AIO leak would be very costly. Threadbooper would be the same problem. But on top of that, I don't know if I want to compound that issue with, because your video card is going to be your first AGP, no AGP, fucking PCI Express, right? We know we got to bring back AGP. Fuck yes, let's do it. Um, Everything under that, drip, 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 Mm. would bug the piss out of me. Yeah, that's why I, th- I think like we need to start moving that that main PCI slot to the bottom, like mi- minim- minimize damage. Well, Jordan, here's the thing though, dude. Like if uh, AMD and Intel will get off their collective asses and quit being so stingy with their fuck mothering PCI Express lanes, guess what I can do on this thread rubber motherboard? It's got to buy sixty to the bottom. Ah, mm-hmm. yeah, <laughs> yeah, but they're they're, they're not going to do that. That would lower their that precious would cost mar- PCI yeah. Express money. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Which is like bandwidth buddy. And it's like, uh Yeah, oh. yes. Yeah, my solution is the lazy one. Just move it down. The EEC money. You know, it costs yeah. extra money to enable yeah. that. They, they they could take all that money they would have spent on giving all those boards additional PCI slots and just give it to me for that idea. That 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 said that was an Intel thing, much like restricting um ECC RAM to the server Servers, side to yeah. the expensive uh CPUs. It was very much Intel going, nah, all that people need are uh, quad cores and uh, 24, 28 uh, lanes of um, PCIe. And that's it. That You're not getting ECC RAM. You're not getting any At least quad they gave us memory, better than dual channel. any of that. <laughs> yeah. I mean, AMD's been on dual channel for how long? Oh, yeah. I guess not, yeah. Not so much recently, but yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, but yeah, no. Intel pretty much dictated the market at that point because for ten years AMD wasn't really competing. 
Uh, <laughs> that's just how it rock and rolls. Like too thick, too thick, too thick. I don't think either of you. That's why I wanted to ask both of you: How wide's too wide? Do you even give a shit if you buy a GPU? Do you have any other PCI Express cards that you put in your system? I know I do. I, you know, I, all four of my uh, my two by eights and my two by sixteens are cram full, and I need more. That's why I'm looking at building an Epic system. Uh, not in this computer, but in a couple other ones, I have like uh, uh, in co- like a capture card or like um, like a SATA card or something for like extra SATA holes or whatever. So like, yeah, like they're but there reasonably are computer- like low speed enough where you could put it. Yeah, you wouldn't be worried about losing one. But no, what if you no, only they, had one? They, what if you they, only had one? They, yeah, they, they do not need by, by any means like a by sixteen slot. Yeah, right. they could they mm-hmm. could get by on a by one, by four, or whatever. Hmm. Yeah. No, I think like two slot is kind of the default for a reason just because it fits well enough but i wouldn't be opposed to having like a three or four slot as long as it came with something to support it (laughs) outside of just the comedy of it no i I don't think i'd I'd fuck around with it like my ideal solution right now in my dream world if the the dump truck uh pulled up and like here here's just open up for a second like you know here's like two grand i'd get an a4000 and i'd go buy one of those uh, aftermarket water kits you know, I'd take the modern day Quadro, water cool that bitch, and be done with it. There we go. Perfect video card. Let's talk about Bungie. Who remembers yes. Bungie? <laughs> yes, Bungie, Bungie jumping with too short a cord. Yeah, so uh, Bungie's been on a bit of a tear. Uh, they don't like people playing their games in ways that they don't want them to and have been taking to the courts to enforce their will. One of these lawsuits uh, was Bungie versus Aim Junkies in which they alleged copyright infringement for this cheat maker who was making aimbots and junk. Um, and they took him to court, and they won some $60,000. Um, what's interesting about this story is that, uh, is that Aim Junkie's countersuit. So the role basically goes like this. Bungie alleges that in order to make the cheats, um, they, uh, you needed to infringe on Bungie's copyright by extracting code from the game, making modifications, and then distributing those modifications of the of Bungie's code to other people, which is in violation of their terms of service. How they uncovered this was their anti-cheat. It's just actively monitoring all your, your system. And so they were able to identify a session of the cheat makers where they were allegedly doing this, and this is their evidence. Uh, so Aim Junkies clapped back and said, hey, this is illegal access of our computer systems. We never gave you permission to do this. You are illegally accessing information on our computer. Uh, we want this lawsuit thrown out of court. Now, the judge did not agree with this at all. And so, um, and as previously stated, Aim Junkies is now on the hook for 94K. Uh, so interesting. So what's interesting about this is, um, is, is because people were talking about reverse engineering, the details of the court case, court case seemed to indicate that there was no like clean room reverse engineering happening. What had actually happened was they were redistributing like actual Bungie game files, which is technically like, um, they were modified, but it's still their files, whatever. But because, because they were able to detect this with the ant sheet, basically, this is the nightmare scenario that we were talking about with like Vanguard, uh, mm-hmm. where, you know, this thing is always running. They can look at what you're doing and then all of a sudden submit this as evidence for their court case or for a lawsuit, or maybe law enforcement can request this from them. And then all of a sudden they have access to all of your stuff on your computer, which again, reinforces the privacy nightmare here. And the fact that the judge agreed that, that uh, Bungie was within their rights to do this sets some pretty disturbing precedent going forward. <laughs> Even regardless of the clean room implementation or not, just setting the precedent that you can use the copyright, the DMCA, the Copyright Digital Millennium Copyright Act, to clamp down on reverse engineering. But that, it, but it it was it wasn't reverse engineering though, not according to what the DMCA was saying. That's what that, yeah, that is in the details of the court it's case. not a clean room, but uh, that is probably going to get brought up. And if there was ever a time to maybe revise how the DMCA handles reverse engineering and maybe put it in actual writing, what people can and can't do, probably now, because uh, I don't care about Bungie, <laughs> they actively ban anyone who even looks at Destiny 2 on Linux, so. If they can do whatever the hell they want. Um, but I don't want this to set a precedent to get other people to try, like we've had with Rockstar, that they've tried over and over again to um, clamp down on the 
engine re-implementations for GTA 3 and Vice City and um, San Andreas. So it, I, I don't want that. I don't want that particular shadow looming over reverse engineering at all. <laughs> I don't think it's gonna like it, it might. You know, you never know. Like one way or the other, do you, do you, there could abuses of it. We're gonna see abuses of it. On the other hand, um, good on you, Bungie. Fuck motherfuckers who sell cheats. I don't think anyone disagrees on that point. <laughs> I, I don't know. Like, <laughs> the, the, I want to give uh, taken some motherfuckers to court. Set not got it. I hope this has a chilling effect on other motherfuckers out there that their business is hacking fucking games and selling the hacks. The yeah, fucking it, games. It, it like, like uh, as mentioning it, it, it does, and the uh, the technical expert on the court case is saying like, yeah, you can't. Oftentimes, you really can't. Uh, you can't really distribute cheats like this without any sort of like IP infringement. So this would this would open up um, this would open up uh, if assuming assuming other parties can detect that uh, a way for uh, for game companies to go after cheat manufacturers and shut them down. Yeah. Um, which which makes online gaming healthier for everyone. But I, I, again, it, it's, it's weird cognitive dissonance, right? Two things can be true at the same time. It's really shitty. How oh, no, Bungie I, I was, like yeah, what they did. I don't like yeah. how they went about doing yeah, it. it yes. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> But that was Bungie going, you know what? Fuck these motherfuckers. Mm -hmm. Like, I get why they did it, right? Mm -hmm. No, it, it, it makes perfect sense. If, if, you, if you are someone who's making an online game, that, and, and that, is, that is your bread and butter. That is yeah, your money. If you're somebody playing that online game, yeah. you're like, yeah. awesome. Yeah. Yes. But like, if you're playing it, 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 with it is, others, it, is on, then... it is on you to, as, as the company, to ensure that people have <laughs> you know, they, the They finally got to the point where they don't have to worry about fucking Linux hackers. Now they don't have to worry about these other guys too. Yeah, <laughs> who are probably also using Linux. Those scumbags, monsters. <laughs> no, I, I guess if they were using Linux, they couldn't have claimed that uh, they were actively being spied on with the uh, it's anti cheat. -cheat. Software. Yeah. I mean, the only thing because I'm impressed on Linux. <laughs> about this is like they, their anti cheat has enough resolution <laughs> to drill down to find like a session of like ah, oh, there you are, motherfucker. Yeah, and, and can can figure out, oh, here are all the software, here's all the software that you're running on your system. Like, mm -hmm. that shit is no bueno. That should not be installed on anyone's computer, period. I don't know. But, man. yeah. Old people <laughs> probably install it. They might, well, if, if they would be marketed towards. Yes. <laughs> you can always market towards old people. Whether or not they'll buy what you're trying to sell, eh, jury's still out on that. But uh, here's, uh, what's his name? Uh, Riss Elliott. Uh, trying to make the argument that old gamers are a growth opportunity for AA and AAA publishers, and just get some suggestions on how to go about and do it. Which is, well, you've seen these arguments made before if you've been paying attention. It's like, okay, they they have a uh, a little paper that you can go, which is profiling gamers by platform where to do all of the breakdowns and everything, but I looked at the price tag, which was $3,000 XVAT. Uh, <laughs> so I said, you know what? No, that's okay. I I'll just read the uh, article that you've made public. Thank you. <laughs> but yeah, the arguments here are that um, age group wise, older gamers tend to prefer strategy, puzzle, slower paced games is what he should have said. Uh, it's which, Makes sense. Uh, <laughs> but people play games for different reasons. Some is because they have time. Some it's because they maybe they want to have something to keep their brains active and uh, looking at something. Uh, it's there's a few options there. The problem is, especially for AAA developers, the way I see it is uh, the older at least I get, the less I see the point in season passes and cosmetic DLC. And I don't think older, like 55 plus uh, people uh, that have been around for longer than these AAA publishers have, I don't think they're as likely to f fall for the FOMO bullshit <laughs> as the uh, modern day. Um, I don't know, man. I'm taking a look at some of these stats. 75, 74% <laughs> of the 55 plus groups uh, playing solo. I mean, you know what? Yeah, I get it because you don't really have time to get groups together. 35 to 30, 54 age group. Again, single player. But 16 to 34. 
playing online. I think yeah, uh, yeah. all of us fall outside of that. <laughs> I, I prefer, I think everybody prefers playing. If you get a group of people to fucking play with playing online, right? I yeah. Think uh, people just like, you know, the group of people they like to play games with. So I didn't, yeah, it's, <laughs> it, it, it's, it's definitely a social activity. And you see like that in world of Warcraft or like doom clans or tribe clans or whatever. Like these are people who are friends and want to spend time together. And like, yeah, um, I, you know, I, I definitely have like several elderly relatives who go into mental decline. And the first thing that always pops into my brain is like, motherfucker, get these guys a PlayStation or something, right? Because they need they need something to do. Using your hands and using your brain is a great way to stave off dementia. And video games are a great way of doing those two things. Uh, I think I think, though, um, it, and it's it's happening less so these days as, you know, it's our demographic that is aging up in there. But there is definitely there's definitely still some stigma that exists with playing video games, with it being this sort of like juvenile thing. And a lot of a lot of elderly folks may bounce off against that. I think, you know, that attitude is shifting as as we become the, the, these these people. But like, yeah, I, I think um, I think definitely if you are if you are a marketing person, maybe keep an eye on people with a lot of disposable income and fuck all to do. You got to think about it, man. I mean, you know, this is something publishers absolutely need to gotta have to think about it, man. You do, because my generation, my generation ish, you know, with like plus or minus just a couple of years, man, we're really the first ones to have grown up with home consoles being a thing. Now we're counting the Atari, Atari 2600, but they were around Then We had the NES, you know, when I was home, like eight or computers. nine. Amigas mm-hmm. and stuff. And, I, yeah. you know. When I was 20 years old, a 50-year-old playing games was like a novelty. It was like weird. I'm like, well, you still play video games or like you play video games at all. I'm like, oh, that's cool, man. We got that in common. And we got to think about it like this, though. Man, let's talk about growth opportunity, though. How about this? Because we've seen how many games recently, the, the, they were chasing the live services, right? Mm-hmm. All Everything's live services. Avengers. Everybody's, everybody wants a piece of that fucking Fortnite pie and they don't realize that that Fortnite pie Fortnite has 98% of that fucking pie you don't get a slice of that network effect yeah you got 2% for everybody else to for their game you only get that 2% to fuck with there's not enough money to sustain as we've seen time and time and time and time and time again they ain't quite figured it out yet they will they will so weird theory go back to just making fun games Go back to just making a good fun game because the Nintendo of all companies, all companies have stuck with that shit. And that shit prints money, doesn't it? It does for them. They it execute somehow yeah. radically on this crazy, bizarro, old, complex formula of like Nintendo core games. Like, yeah, we just, we were going to make fun games. This is fucking evil ass in Nintendo, but they do manage that. And that is part of that success. It's not microtransactions, it's not cosmetics, it's not DLC, it's not battle passes. It's like A, B, C, get to the end, finish the game. There you go. We tried to make it as fun as we possibly fucking could. Because we all felt it. I know I definitely felt it. Marvel's Avengers. I tried to play that one because I got it for like a buck. Uh, A game that even after they ripped out all the cosmetic shit and it's just the game. I think that's a very apt example here. Because if it's been designed from the ground up just to extract money and to get you by like battle passes and shit like that, it's not a fun game. Back 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 when we were throwing chairs at games, when we would get the mobile ports, where they're just like, you know, you, on and Android, you would like spend eighty dollars or whatever on on a pass or whatever for the right. currency, mm-hmm. and and you know when they make the transition to PC or Steam or whatever, they're like, hey, we'll just give you like a million fucking dollars and you can do whatever you want, like that. It it compromises the game loop. It doesn't make it fun, and it's just like a it's just like a here, you know what? We we can't we can't be asked to like create actual engaging gameplay mechanisms. Yeah, if you get a bunch of people yeah. and like you're sitting around your first meeting about, you know, putting together a design doc is like, how can we get the most money out of this? But the, and, the, the, well, and, and that, that's the conversation you have when you want to market to the 14-year-olds, not when you want to market to the 55-year-olds. The 55-year-olds, like, I, we don't have problems paying full prices for games, but we're also a patient lot, especially PC gamers, because we know the sale's going to roll around. Like, you do, Trust me, if you're listening to me and you're like, no, you could buy it. I'm like, no, dude, 35 plus that FOMO just starts falling off a cliff, dude. Where you're like, yeah, the yeah, hype it, is real in certain situations okay, until you Pedro, see the you remember price the, um, XKCD 
comic, right? Where he's like, no, this is why I wait like six years to play a fucking yeah. game. You remember reading that shit in your 20s going, ah, that's the a funny comic. The cake is a lie. Yeah, right? You're like, yeah. that's a funny comic. Who? You're like, oh shit, that's that's how I do shit now. Oh no. Yeah, I, I think part of that too is like, ain't nobody got time for that. I got a full-time job. I got a dog. I got a family. Like my, my, my opportunity to sit down and play a video game is pretty limited these days. And you look at the price tag, especially now that uh, they're saying, oh, video games, AAA video games are now $70 because they're so much more expensive. And they're shit. There's all of the AAA video games that have come out recently have come out in broken states. They're not very fun. And they're actively nickel and diming you. So, no, I don't think they're worth the $70 asking price at all. Sorry. Yeah, but they're um, selling more than ever, though. I, I do think Katana, uh, Katana brought up this point in in uh, Discord, and I want to I want to shout it out because I think it's it's an interesting idea. Do it. Yeah the um the, the the notion that like gamers fifty five and up don't want to play with other people because most of their friends are dead. Um, yeah. You need to hang around people <laughs> with healthier lifestyles if you're fifty five and your friends are dropping, man. <laughs> I mean, I mean, it, it's it's the thing that happens. The heart, the heart starts giving out. You start getting the the big C's. It's the thing. Thing things start. Don't skip cardio, off. kids. No, <laughs> don't heavy, do heavy it. Heavy resistance Basically, training. Do it because we know that uh, there are quite a few fifty-ish uh, people uh, listening. Indie games. Seriously, forget the AAA. Play whatever the fuck you want. Indie don't games. listen to fucking pictures. <laughs> Play what you enjoy. Find games Play that you like, Fortnite. man. Except Fortnite, don't no, fuck you, don't play. <laughs> play for, no, only, okay, only, only the, Fortnite. Play every, play what you want. Overwatch. Except Fortnite, fuck you for Fortnite. Fuck all you. All I do is Overwatch and Genshin Impact. All I do is cheat in Destiny Two, and it's becoming a lot harder now. Genshin I don't know, Impact. man. Um, yeah, it's an interesting market <laughs> that we're not going to get catered to because of what Jordan brought up. Like they're not interested in us. They're interested in, you know, the next, next generation, you know, like the, uh, you're braining about how do we get money out of the soon to be eight to 12 year olds. Right. Yeah. But the problem with that is, is how do you do that? Well, you make sure you got a fucking mobile game because they're not going to be, a, that generation is not going to be PC gamers, homie. You're going to kind of be stuck with game. us <laughs> Until buying we consoles die. and what? R R R I P P C gaming. Who, oh man, there, there, there's, oh, that's, that's a, that's a movie to make. The Last PC Gamer. What's his name? It's, a, it's like a documentary that takes place like 50 years in the future or whatever. <laughs> All right. He's just sitting there and he's got a camera on him and he's like, eh. <laughs> yeah, yeah the, 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 the Last PC Gamer. Everyone else is like playing on their fucking Matrix thing or their, yeah. their HoloLens or whatever. He's oh, like, no, 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 no. man, I, I just want to play Doom. I just. You say that where we're gonna have Hollow uh, Vision Nine with laser six connections into our uh, cerebellums and all this shit, but there's gonna be this is gonna where you're gonna get the resurgence. Hipsters are gonna show up and they were like, "Oh, I'm go or you want to go to the cyber cafe? You you, you want you want to play a game on my full tower? <laughs> right? I'll I'll bring a laptop. The game is actually hosted out of the and computer it's, it's here and the not on the game. internet. Right? <laughs> and the hipsters are actually well. The hipster is still using laptops nowadays. So. <laughs> oh man, no, uh, I got to reset my um, camera. So who wants to uh, talk about uh, something for a second? Yeah, um, I'll, I'll I'll tell the people that if you like, I I, I think I think that's that's it for uh, this Yon here podcast. So if you uh, if you like the show and you want to support it, you can head on on to patreon.com slash Linux Gamecast. You can sign up and get access to the Discord channel uh, where we are the other six days of the week. We do games. Uh, we play games with the people here. There are people who are not on the podcast who play games. And if you want to play games with some Linux people, you can post an LFG in there and people will hang out with you. Uh, Ven is doing Trackmania on Tuesdays and Fridays. I'm doing The Outer Worlds on Thursdays. So tune in for those. We got Weekly Daily Wednesdays on Wednesdays uh, if you want to check that out as well. But if you do want to support more us more, we got a store, store.linuxgamecast.com. We got a support page. If you go to linuxgamecast.com, click the support button. You got the link to the store. Got the links to our uh, Amazon wish list. If you want to buy us some stuff, you can buy us a little present. Send us a little note. We'll have to read it on the internet. We got PayPal. We got LibrePay. Uh, we got that I mentioned store already. We got an itemized storefront. If you're ever curious what we're actually using to make the podcast, we got a list of all that stuff there. Um, Check out uh, youtube.com slash at interfacing Linux as well. That's Ven's thing where he's talking about 
uh, AV production on Linux if you are interested in the backend guts of this or if you want to make your own podcast. It's a great resource to check out. Definitely do that as well. Um, yeah, very I'm, good. Or, or people are like, oh, what are you are, doing? Are, this? I, I want ads. Just give me ads. That was the ad. That was Jordan showing us. <laughs> in, indeed. And um, yeah, and you can also just leave us a message. We have uh, we have a hate mail uh, segment that we do right now. Uh, you can send us an email. It's on the contact page on our website. Uh, you can send us a message on Patreon as well. Those get priorities because if you're sending us a message on Patreon, you are giving us money and therefore mm-hmm. you are our boss. So we got to read your shit. Uh, this week we got some, uh, we got, Oh yeah. Some... I, I want to give Nubbin a shout out. Oh yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, he just rolled over for, uh, 42 months on Twitch. Damn. That's, oh yeah. Be- yeah. Bezos Thank you very much. Give, give, give us your Twitch prime sub. <laughs> That's if you... four, uh, rotations around Seoul, right? Yeah, that's or some shit. However, the planets work. I don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember which one of the models is correct I, I, in this I, I, timeline. I thought we had like a square orbit around the sun. Fucking maybe. <laughs> it's a triangle. Do you think it's Venus, triangles. Venus is just like not done cooling off yet? That's going to be like a cool place to chill out. <laughs> maybe. maybe. I, I mean, after Mercury gets swallowed, probably. Oh, what's that got to do with cat girls? I don't know. Uh, this is from uh, Alex. Uh, uh, pro- creator of Project Heartbeat, uh, they write in, and they say, In a universe where frogs go around and horses fly, I have but one ambition, to further push the development of anime girls in video games and to take care of my car and myself. The latter two aren't going well, but the anime girls are at least working, and sometimes they seem to come with cat ears. The purpose of this email, as the custodian of weebery and good-looking anime girls on planet Earth, is to inform you that Project Heartbeat Phoenix... The latest and greatest update, which has the new engine, proper Vulcan Sport SDL, and more, has been released. This has been the work of a full year of work. That's, That's a, a lot of work. four for you. <laughs> it's a lot of work that he did, and you can play your Linux beep boops now. Nine ninety nine. Yeah, there it is. A long-standing thing. You know, if you're working at a game and whatever we can do to give you a little bit of extra traction for the Linux community, yeah, use a. The, and this game is developed entirely on Linux. Yeah, so that's, using Godot yeah. too. So yeah. <laughs> there you go. It's a rhythm game where whatever that horrific elf thing. Um, and, and anime girls with cat ears. It's that's, an anime that's girl. Alex is. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's yeah. Fuck no. Clearly uh, the selling pitch. Yeah, dude. If I walked in like into a room, that is like I'd back out slowly then run. <laughs> um, cool. It's got songs and stuff. Like I'm not really into like, but it's got SDL now and Vulcan, Indeed. which is good. So, and Discord Rich present, so that's neat. Yes, you you are basically being ratted out to your friends that you're playing Project Heartbeat, the game with the anime girls. <laughs> I dude, like on, on a scale of like shit that I've seen publicly played by people on my friends list. Yeah, then again, we do have a lot of weebs in Discord. So. This and this is why you stick your Steam profile on private. This, this is like Diet Pepsi level <laughs> shit, man. I'm like. <laughs> Yeah, no, if if this is if this is the scandalous thing that you're playing, you are probably incredibly vanilla. That's all I'll say. Now, Fair. <laughs> Pedro has a new position at the NHS. Yes. What did they do with the old team? Did they just like poof, magic smoke bomb gun? Uh, basically, there were a couple of choices because the old team no longer exists because the structure that they imported from Health Education England, where I used to work is dead uh so um that's violent that, yeah <laughs> and now they, they gave people that were in the internal it support team a choice it's like do you want to go into desktop <laughs> services and get merged with the rest of the it support for the rest of the nhs at which point i looked at what i'd been doing and what was ahead of me and i said no fuck that uh, they, they, and they give you a choice the electric chair or the acid pit <laughs> so yeah. what you're saying is you, you adjusted one of your nipple clamps yeah. basically i went it's like okay so what else is there Ooh, there's a devops cdt team uh what's that all about jira it's about jira yeah and, and uh, dean 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 writes in about jira <laughs> and says i've been the admin for jira at my work for the past 12 years oh my god i'm sorry dean. it's hell on earth and they've changed it <laughs> From going self-hosted to a service on their cloud. So migrating was fun. Not. But at least I don't have to worry about the Jira updates. That, oh, those are a <laughs> fucking nightmare because Java and its terrible workflow in regards to configuration files and merging changes across. I feel for you. 
love yeah D&D. those are uh still hosted locally <laughs> so i look forward to that <laughs> oh man that'll be one of your first uh new guys with the uh but here's how we're changing everything since i'm here yeah the, i'm not going to uh make any waves until the uh you're gonna make no waves <laughs> I'm not going to make go, any nah, waves. Nah, nah, if I nah, can skirt by nah, and uh, nah, nah, learn nah, nah. exactly what I need in order to keep my job, I'm going to do just that. <laughs> now, I was talking, um, fortunately, I haven't ever had to really like mess around. With, I'm aware of what Jira is, and I'm like, is there a Jira for Jira? Because if you don't know what Jira is, like, it's ticketing, uh, support, help desk, and well, campaign not, but, board, and yeah. a few other things. Yeah. And, you know, I was like, so does Jira have a Jira? And like, Jordan's like, funny you mentioned that. Yeah, yeah, yes, yes, it does. Yes, <laughs> it can be Jira all the way down. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that should be a bombshell tonight. Can I move all my music? Is in weird places. Give me a second. Whoa, can we move this ticket to done now? Uh, clothes won't fix. Ah, ooh. <laughs> shift delete <laughs> on that bombshell. Hey, come play with us. Every Saturday, uh, 8.30, right here on Twitch. All the links are going to be in the uh, video description. Wherever you're listening to this, you can figure it out. Head over to Linux Seamcast. I got faith in you. If you want to chat with me, the best place to do that is in our Discord or over at the forums on Interfacing Linux. If you get a question, if you want general chit-chat, uh, you know, if you're a patron or Twitch, link that up, especially if you're on Twitch. You don't know. Come hang out with the uh, rest of us uh, evil clowns from inner space and uh, get in touch with me on social medias. I'm chatting, posting cool stuff on the Twitters at Vinstone. We got Mastodon. I'm just at Vin there. And uh, I got a Blue Sky account, but I'll be real with you, man. I only check that like maybe once a week. I'm Jordan. I am stuck in the blocked lane, and there's no way to get me out because the workflow is busted. You can see what, how I'm doing. You can check my Jira comments on Twitter <laughs> at The Burning Pool, on Mastodon at Frojo at Mastodon.linksgamecast.com, or on Bsky at Frojo at Bsky.app. And if you want to know exactly what I'll be doing uh, at work, you're going to have to find me in person because I don't really oh, post oh, anything open a to... Ticket. Yeah, yeah I, I don't really post anything to social networks anymore. I might retweet the occasional thing and post the... Uh, it's like, we're live! But that's about it. So, uh, at unaccounted for at Linux, uh, mass.linuxgamecast.com. That's, uh, that's it. That's all I got. <laughs> Also, uh, you know, they have like the winter and summer solstice. We use that here at LGC by the first time, first day of the year that the camera overheats and cuts off. So it is now officially <laughs> summer. Ah, All right. praise the summer. <laughs> Time for some credits. That's what I call it when I run into a wall and go splat. <laughs> well, it's that time of the week again. We got to thank our advisors. Omegas and Artheran, we gotta thank our executive producers, Barbram, Scott, Atomic, Mike, Tomaj, David, Eship, Ian, Kurducky, 12345, Hoplo, and Drummer, and our little Nicky fans, Destote, Empty, and Eggy, and Turbo Tree Sloth. There are four people there now. Damn it. And the Sea Monster is Renault, Rider X, Machina, Trudgy, Virgin, and the Justin Darkwing, System T, Desing, Joe, the Kresny, Oogie One, and Frostclaw. And the Death Notes, Nova, Chad, Romeo, Renee, Leonardo, Kim, Chris, Stephen, Joel, Benjamin, Doom, Two Thought, Watt, Stephen, B, Beck, Dodger, Zeno, Rue, Turnover, Pebble, Spine, Trello, and Piper. <laughs> Gotta thank every single one of our fine upstanding cannibals like Carl, Mike, Arthur, and Lennox, New Orleans, Noctilus, John, Eshep, Gavitron, you know it, DSN, Joe, Aromatic, Dev, and Kai, Jorai. Enjoy your fucking, as you are the fine upstanding cannibals. Ladies and gentlemen, Jordan, what have we learned this week outside of Jira? <laughs> uh, Jira has captured all of our knowledge and now we are bought into the Atlassian ecosystem. We're going to have to mm -hmm. kill Google Docs. I'm sorry. <laughs> Everything is hosted in we're, Confluence now. We're, yeah, we're moving all our show notes to Confluence. Dynamite, everyone. <laughs> See you next week. Five dudes. <laughs>